Hi everyone, so today we're going to be doing OT outside and you might be wondering, Miss Julie, why are you sitting in the driveway? And that's because I made my own sensory pathway and today you're going to be making your own too. So what's a sensory pathway? It's a movement break or a brain break. You're going to be hopping, you're going to be jumping, skipping, you can push yourself on a skateboard down the driveway or on down the sidewalk. You can bounce a ball, you could do hula hoop, you could do anything. So um, a sensory pathway is going to help you work on your balance and coordination. It's going to boost your mood and it's going to improve your attention and your focus. So then you can go back inside and work on those assignments that your other teachers gave you. Before constructing your sensory pathway on the driveway or the sidewalk, it's recommended that you draw your sensory pathway out. So this is a rough draft of my sensory pathway. You can make yours exactly like mine or you can come up with your own. For my sensory pathway, I used a skateboard, a tennis ball, chalk, and a hula hoop. Now for mine, I'll run you through the steps and then I'll give you a little demonstration afterwards of me completing my sensory pathway. So the first part is you're gonna start at the start line. You're going to sit on the skateboard and you're gonna push yourself on this line, which is about 30 feet long. When you get to the swirl, you're going to spin around once. Then you're going to complete the hopscotch game you're going to dribble the tennis ball 10 times. Then you're going to follow the zigzag. And then when you get to here, you're going to do five star jumps. Once you do that, you're going to hula hoop and you're gonna to try to get the hula hoop around you about 10 times. Then you're going to follow this line and you're gonna crab walk. When you get to here, it's kind of like a balance beam. So you're going to walk heel to toe, heel to toe, until you get to this line where you tiptoe. You're going to do another spin, and then these are little ABC stepping stones. So you'll step from A to B, B to C, C to D, and so on until you get to letter Z, and then you're going to jump on the finish line. 